So starting with the basics of autonomic nervous system, mainly in the adrenergic uh, group, we have two types of receptors of adrenergic group, alpha and beta receptors, which can be further classified into alpha 1, alpha 2, beta 1 and beta 2. So we are taking alpha 1 and beta 2 receptors into account as these are present in the blood vessels. Alpha 1 has a separate action which is called as vasoconstriction and beta 2 has a separate action which is called as vasodilatation. So what is the application of these receptors? So we can see that alpha 1 receptor is the more strong receptor, beta 2 receptor is the more sensitive receptor. Meaning if even a small amount of stimulation is given, beta 2 receptor are stimulated and if larger number of stimulus is given alpha 1 will be stimulated so that the vasoconstriction power will be more and at low concentration of any stimulant beta 2 will be active and it causes vasodilatation so taking adrenaline as a hormone into account this adrenaline acts on all the four receptors which is called as alpha 1 alpha 2 beta 1 and beta 2 so the specialty is it acts on both alpha 1 and beta 2 receptors. In alpha 1 receptor it causes vasoconstriction and beta 2 receptors it causes vasodilatation. So applying this concept we plot a graph of uh, uh, blood pressure of a person so in which we can interpret the following data. So this graph depicts a uh, typical normal person's blood pressure when given adrenaline. So the first graph which is a spike which uh, denotes the increase in BP due to alpha 1 receptor stimulation which causes vasoconstriction. And after that the amount of adrenaline decreases due to metabolization and then the level decreases. So the decrease in level causes, uh, causes the stimulation of most sensitive receptor which is the beta 2 receptor which causes vasodilatation. So this beta 2 receptor which causes vasodilatation is the reason for the decrease in blood pressure in the later part of the graph. And this graph shows a pattern of both increase and decrease so which is called as biphasic response. So there is two phases. First there is an increasing phase and followed by the decrease in phase. So we are taking a special case now in which the patient who is al already taking alpha blocker given adrenaline and uh, the action is assessed in a, in a form of a graph. So in this graph we can clearly see that the alpha activity is not present so that there is no increase in BP rather there is a rapid fall in the BP because of the massive action of the beta receptors and there is a severe vasodilatation which causes bradycardia eventually may lead to the death of the person. So this phenomenon is called vasomotor reversal of Dale. The significance of this vasomotor reversal concept. So are we giving voluntarily adrenaline and alpha blocker together? Do we give them? The answer is no. How does this occur? So the answer lies in the fact that alpha blockers are given in a patients who have adrenaline in their blood. So what is the condition in which adrenaline is present in the blood? So all of you must have heard about the condition called as pheochromocytoma which is adrenaline tumor. Yeah. Very correct. The has two types of uh, tumor, which is adrenaline producing tumor and noradrenaline producing tumor. At this point of time, the adrenaline producing tumor is very important for us because noradrenaline producing tumor is a fact. Uh, we know the fact that noradrenaline does not stimulate beta 2, so we don't have any vasodilatation property, and hence we, uh, we don't have to bother about vasomotor reversal of the we go into vaso uh, uh, adrenaline producing tumor. Adrenaline producing tumor produces the same concept as vasomotor reversal of Dale. So you can see the visible graph which is dipping towards uh, 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 severe bradycardia and shock and even death of the patient. So this vasomotor reversal of Dale is applied in a patient with pheochromocytoma. So we cannot give alpha blocker alone in the patient with pheochromocytoma. So what shall we do? So a big question mark again arises, what shall we do for the patient with pheochromocytoma? Should we give, give alpha block alone, beta blocker alone? No. We should give alpha blocker along with beta blocker. This is the treatment of choice for pheochromocytoma and this is the only treatment available for pheochromocytoma. So I hope you get clear about the concept. Thank you.